ever asked yourself the question, how did I get here? Many times we make subtle decisions that don't seem to be a big deal, but what we often fail to realize is that where you are today is the result of all of the decisions, big and small, that you've made up until this point. The good news is, even if you are not where you want to be right now, you still have a chance to rewrite your script. Yes, it's frustrating when you do not accomplish what you've expected to accomplish within the time frame that you set. Yes, all of us want our journey to be a straight path. But in actuality, your journey will have unexpected stops. It will have curves, it will have hills, it will have valleys, you will have sunny days, you will have rainy days. But you have to decide. If I encounter rejection, if I encounter frustration, if I am disappointed, I will not give up. The key is to learn how to separate your feelings from your performance. Yes, some days I don't feel like working. Some days I have to battle with unfair situations. But at the end of the day, I have a decision to make. Either I'm going to have a pity party or I'm going to figure out how to pull myself up. So I say to you today, pull yourself up. Lift up your bow down head. Guess what? Every day I have to choose to pull myself up. There will always be something that you can complain about. There will always be something that you could be worried about. But what I'm challenging you to do is to pursue your goals in spite of what's going on around you. Take a close look at your life, your health, your relationships, your business, your career, and ask yourself a simple question. Have I given my all? If you are not careful, fear, doubt, and worry will keep you stuck wishing your circumstances were better but never doing what it takes to improve them. It's time for you to pursue what you really want, not what others want for you, not what others expect from you, but you gotta pursue what you really want with everything you've got. One of the hardest things I've had to do is confront mediocrity in my own life. I'm challenging you to commit to dismantling whatever it is that has been holding your destiny hostage. Is it self-doubt? Is it the fear of being rejected? Is it self-sabotage? Is it refusing to let go of the past? Don't get so wrapped up in what happened yesterday that you miss out on the opportunities that are waiting for you today. Remember, whenever one door closes, there is another door waiting for you. Don't second guess yourself and don't be so afraid of failing that you create excuses instead of producing results. After being involved in a physically abusive relationship for six years, I had to rewrite my script. I do understand that a lot of times, when you go through things, it feels like it's for you, but it really isn't. It's really so that you can help someone else get through that same thing, and you can say to them, listen, I made it through, and so can you. I really thought that I would be the last person to do what I'm doing. Just because of what I've overcome, what I thought about myself. I did not like myself. I did not like the way I looked. I did not like the person in the mirror. And so I was the person who was in front of everyone else. And everyone thought I was happy. Everyone thought I had it all together, but I was secretly depressed. I was secretly battling with a low self-confidence and I was so broken. And, and how many of you know that when you are broken sometimes, you can attract the exact opposite of what you need. 
In retrospect, I know why I stayed in an unhealthy relationship for six years. In my mind, I could not do any better. In my mind, there was no way that anyone else would be attracted to me. So I stayed. But eventually, I came to realize that I was not lucky to have him, but he was lucky to have me. I came to realize that I deserved better. You see, setting higher standards might mean that you have to wait a little longer than you anticipated, but getting what you deserve will be worth the wait. Will you commit to making yourself a priority? Yes, there are a lot of people counting on you. Yes, others need you. But guess who else needs you? You need you. Be confident in your ability to overcome any challenge that comes your way. Why? Because your level of confidence is going to determine what you strive for. If you don't have confidence, what you'll do is you'll see something that you want, but you won't go for it because you'll tell yourself, I'm not cut out for this. I'm not good enough for this. I don't speak well enough for this. I'm not credentialed enough or I'm not qualified enough. And what you're doing is holding yourself back. I never thought that I would be speaking. I never thought that I would be Dr. Jessica Houston. I never thought that I would be traveling the world. I never thought that I would be an author. But it took me stepping out of my comfort zone. It took me saying to myself, you will not let your daughter take the same route that you took. That's what helped me the most. What I have discovered is that women are very good at pretending to be okay. Many times we suppress what we're dealing with and we cover it all up. Women are natural nurturers. In fact, we often help and support others even when we are facing a challenging situation ourselves. Unlocking your destiny is going to require that you add yourself to your priority list. You need you.